Here at Hunt Street Station, a unique co-working space in the city of Detroit, to walk you through an indoor helium mobile hotspot installation. Indoor installs are simple. If you can follow a checklist and work with a host, you'll be successful. And once you've done one install, the next will be even easier. Here's what you'll need. Everything that's included in the box, the indoor hotspot, power adapter, ethernet cable, the mounting bracket, which also doubles as a stand, and screws. A Phillips head screwdriver will be needed if you intend to hang the hotspot on a wall. Optional add-ons are power over ethernet hardware, a longer ethernet cable, and cable clips to help keep your installation neat. You will also need a smartphone for setup. Work with your host to choose a location that's high, visible, close to power and internet connections, and near where people will be spending time and using their phones. Avoid corners, cluttered spaces, or anything else that may block the signal from the hotspot. Once you've chosen the location for your hotspot, follow these steps. First, plug the hotspot into power. Confirm the indicator light turns on after a moment. Next, connect the hotspot to the internet with the included ethernet cable. Wait a few minutes as the hotspot may download and install a firmware update. You will see the indicator lights turn off, then back on once this completes. Open the Helium Mobile Builder app on your phone. Ensure you are logged into the same account where you onboarded the hotspot, which is a step that I recommend you complete before arriving on site for your installation. Wait for the device to appear as active. This usually takes a few minutes. You can also check the Helium Mobile Builder dashboard website in a web browser. Once you have confirmed the device is online, you will next have to generate a call data record or CDR. To do this, Connect your phone to the Helium SSID, disable Wi-Fi calling on your phone, then complete a quick test call and a short data session. Something like running a speed test or browsing the internet works for this. Then disconnect from the Helium SSID and complete another phone call and short data session. Your hotspot should now be CDR verified and eligible for proof of coverage rewards. It's important to note that your hotspot is eligible for data transfer rewards regardless of its CDR status. To install the hotspot, use the included mounting bracket. If hanging on a wall, ensure the mount is level, then use the included two screws to attach the mount to the wall. Next, remove the two screws from the back of the hotspot. Place the plastic adapters that are included in the box on those screw holes, then use the same screws you removed to attach them to the hotspot. These adapters will allow the hotspot to snap into the wall mounted bracket. If you are not hanging the hotspot on a wall, you can use the mounting bracket as a stand. It simply snaps onto the bottom of the hotspot. Finally, nest your cables neatly using the optional cable clips and keep the device accessible but discreet. If you encounter any issues, here are some basic troubleshooting steps. If the device doesn't appear online or you cannot connect to it, First, try a power cycle. You should also double check that your internet connection is active and that your ethernet cable is working. For more help, use the official Helium Mobile support site. Once you have confirmed the hotspot is online, working properly and securely installed, you're all set. Thank your host, leave your contact info and follow up in a few days. By installing this hotspot, you're directly helping grow the Helium Mobile network and enhancing cell phone coverage indoors, which is where people need it most.